guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Asha Kabe do make sure you subscribe today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys a few things i learned from usiu if you're in uni right now october 2021 i finished last semester graduated this semester I just remember the way like when i was joining uni initially i was to go to your end but i ended up going to usiu i had no idea about like i obviously in lukwana joa usiu couple but like i didn't know much about usiu because it's a private uni i didn't know much and i remember i came to youtube and i searched usiu and i saw this video by this mommy she's called it in becca and she was just talking about how life was how things are how the reality of you know being a student there is it was so helpful for me so i just wanted to make a similar video with my experience things that i've learned things that i wish i knew and um would have just made my life so much easier the past four years and yeah also shout out to my friends for helping me come up with some of the tips in this video i hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado so the first thing is i think many people have this misconception that compared to other unis like let's say your and let's say strathmore your SIU is relaxed it's chill nini, 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 nini. when it comes to things like exams projects assignments things like that things can get thick i think the way our classes and everything are organized makes the whole system look a bit relaxed but like just to remove that misconception in your head, like just in case you're coming to your side, you're thinking, oh, it's gonna be chill, it's gonna be relaxed. You just don't sleep and expect to pass. You actually need to study, you actually need to read. Obviously, when you're starting freshman year and everything, it's a bit relaxed, but like the more you continue, the courses become a bit more a bit more intense and there's like more content and you just need to pay attention so secondly on academics this is more of a hack it's one of those things i think people forget when you're having issues with your grades with schoolwork or trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing because if you're doing a certain course you're given a certain number of units that you need to complete and at some point you're gonna need to pick your concentration or let's say your minor when you just get to a point where you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what you're supposed to be because we pick another thing is let me just add this in there we pick classes for ourselves every single semester if you're at a point where you don't know what class you're supposed to be picking or how many classes you can pick or you know um you don't know what units you're supposed to be picking for your particular course just go to a course advisor let me tell you those guys are free advice for your academics if let's say um you've gotten to that point you're supposed to be graduating and you haven't completed the units that you're supposed to have completed you're not going to be able to graduate to avoid all that confusion and repeating of classes doing classes that you're not even supposed to be doing because as i said we pick for ourselves classes to avoid all that confusion just go to a course advisor that's so helpful because there are many things you do for yourself in your SIU. sometimes it can be confusing and you don't want to you know have to repeat classes that can be exhausting and can push you back you end up graduating later than you're supposed to so just go to a freaking course advisor and get advice for free okay you're paying for it in a way but like i'm just saying Another hack that I feel comes in handy when it comes to academic stuff is that sometimes you can find that you've picked a class, the lecturer who's teaching that class, you guys are probably like not getting along. These things happen. At some point you get to know people, find yourself in groups because of group work. There are always people who've done, let's say, a course that you're gonna do next semester, they've already done it this semester. Before you pick classes, ask in groups, ask your friends about lecturers because sometimes you can want to do a class but you find yourself failing because let's say you're not getting along with a certain lecturer which it's normal like we're human beings like it's easier if you just ask about it doesn't have to be all the time if you can ask about lecturers ask about you know how is this lecturer like what lecturer would you advise me to pick for this course and things like that when you don't leave the school you know nairobi in a traffic try and pick classes like you know the way the good thing is we're allowed to pick our own classes so try and pick classes in a way that you're always going to be against traffic and that was the biggest one of the biggest things that i wish i knew because i remember first year i was always going with traffic because of the way i had pitched my classes the main thing 
when it comes to any uni is just to budget yourself you know how much you're gonna be spending in a week the main thing that's spend money on in school was lunch because for me i wasn't sleeping in school so nenda should let um i have classes i'd go for lunch and then i'd go back have my classes and then i'd go home or maybe if it's like enjoyment here there and then i'd go home i know so many things have changed you know the pandemic happened and everything but like when i was still there before we started doing online you can eat in school it's fine there's a cafe there's java if you want cheaper options they're always there are always i don't know if they're still there though, but i think they should be there they're always they're always cheaper options outside school they're always with bandas with really nice food because i know eating um let's say in java every day can be a bit expensive um yeah they're, they're, they're cheaper options outside school okay another thing when it comes to money and finances and fees and things like that when you're paying for fees you can end up paying excess so every semester you're paying a different amount depending on the classes that you're taking but it's always very close to each other you can end up paying excess the school is not gonna tell you when you've paid excess it's for you to check your account when you have excess money because if you have excess money and you have the school card you can use that extra cash to buy lunch or you can use you can push that cash to next semester if you want to use it for a trip if you want to use it for things like that you don't have to go out of out of your way when you already have excess cash in your account i didn't know this until i think that idea let's say if you are just having a bad day and you're not feeling okay you don't have to feel bad the whole day you can actually just go to the dispensary in school and get your panadol get your medicine if you have let's say what cramps just go to the dispensary you don't have to wait until you go outside school to to get meds because you actually pay for this in your fees in general budget yourself but be aware of what you're paying for because there's so many things we pay for other than the courses i mean other than the units end up paying for the gym your whole four years of uni and you never step into the gym even once i mean you don't even know that you're paying for the gym so you're paying for the gym in school and then you're paying for the gym call your institute um just be aware of like the, the things that you can get for free you know it's part of your fees but you can get them for free the next category is like my favorite category this is opportunities thing about your sayo is it's not that you just relax every day but you do get a lot of free time i'm saying this because i have friends who are in strathmore or who finish and are in strathmore when you're in doing something like med the amount of time you spend in school is way more than the amount of time that i used to spend in school you know our classes were organized you can get a lot of free time but not even the way our class is organized it's for you to choose for yourself you can have days when you don't have a class you can have days when you have one class and then let's say the next day you have three classes you can actually decide when you don't want classes during the week and you only want your classes during the weekend and by weekend i mean friday saturday because the main days of the week in usiu is monday to thursday so like friday and saturday are considered more of weekend you can have your classes during the week and not have any classes during the weekend it gets tricky as you continue like in the idea for the options that you have become a bit less so at some point you might have to be in school like let's say friday saturday but my point is really when you're starting out your options are so much that you don't have to you don't have to limit yourself to being in school every day you don't have to you actually don't have to be in school every single day of the week to take advantage of things like clubs organizations because to be honest like from my experience because maybe i joined clubs in my organizations i did all that those clubs in your are not usually dead not all of them the thing is the ones that are active which is many of them the ones that are active are very active and you can get opportunities from those clubs i know people who join like let's say for example i said and you finished school and they're getting jobs from having been in isex and plus you can even start your own club and make it hella active because the environment in general is supportive of extracurricular activities like sports if you're into dancing i remember the dance club 
that was in school was so good there always this small small events happening in school for example mr and miss that's another what should i call it it's like something that you can partake in school to make i don't know school more interesting have more things that you're doing but my point is there are always things going on it's always a week for did you a week for this a week for that a week for this that good thing is let's say you don't know much about your course let's say you don't know much about ir or let's say finance you want to concentrate in finance or you want to minor in let's say chinese there is a chinese club i remember there was a finance club before you get to that point where you have to pick a concentration before you figure that stage of your uni life say if it's chinese be in chinese club be in the club be active or just go and see how it is so you can figure out do i actually like chinese would i be okay with taking chinese as a minor for you Choose the minor and then we may figure like three semesters in or two semesters in which is way too deep and you can't change or you just don't like it and you start to regret it. Take advantage of the clubs that are related to your course. If you feel like you're very clueless about the course that you're about to or the, the concentration or the minor that you're about to take. Next category, I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it the environment. Hey where is that? That school is very diverse. You're gonna find guys from China, Nigeria, South Africa, Tanzania. You're gonna find everyone. The environment in terms of in terms of different nationalities is already so diverse. But like even the people themselves will find every kind of person. I don't even know how to explain this. Even when it comes to age, like old young people. And you see, thing is, every time for my course, I would speak from my point of view. Every time you pick a class, every semester you pick, let's say four classes. Next semester you're gonna pick another four classes. You're always gonna be with different people. This class I'm gonna be with these people. I'm not gonna be taking that class next semester. I'm gonna be taking another class, and I'm gonna be with different people next semester in a different class and we're gonna i'm gonna be doing group work with different people and there's gonna be a lot of group work at some point but this is diverse so you're always gonna be meeting very different people so it's for you to decide you know how you want to interact with people another thing when it comes to like the school being open you know welcoming to everyone and almost everything well, not everything but like stuff it comes to dress code okay i don't think the unis that have uniform but let me just say I remember when i was in first year i came to say that you I don't want to say you can wear anything, but let's say you're into fashion and you want to express yourself with your clothes. No one is gonna ask you. No one is gonna like it's for you to decide. It also depends. It also depends on your confidence level when it comes to dressing. It's not like a strict restriction. Like ah, you have to dress like this. Let me compare it to a school like Strathmore so it's easier to explain. So the way in Strathmore you have to wear official certain colours, you have to wear this a way you can I know you can't braid certain colours. In your say you then your layer called purple. If you want to have dreads, if you want to wear a short skirt to class, no one is really gonna come for you, no one is gonna ask you Mbona Nyolakwina Kaivi. It's for you to decide as long as they are not disturbing anyone if you want to find yourself fashion wise you can be able to find yourself fashion wise now running for mr and miss yes are you would always have these challenges have to dress like let's say a superhero this time a certain character so you like you had to be crazy and let me give you an example i had classes at the same time so you have to dress a certain way the whole day this lecturer doesn't go doesn't know if cg this pageant is going on you me i would just show up with my crazy makeup, yellow skirt, and the light is not gonna ask you. You just sit, be in class, concentrate, do what you're supposed to do. It's not gonna ask you about why you're wearing what you're wearing. The point is, there's freedom to dress the way you want. I can say that from my experience. And I'm a very experimental person. I had mentioned this earlier, but like, you know the way people say, I miss your name, I say, Nenda. Think about yourself. So you actually see the actually facilities in the school. There's a gym, there's a pool, there's a basketball pitch, blah, blah, blah. This is more of like advice. Take advantage of that so you're paying for the maintenance of these things in your fee if that's how you're into um working out or whatever you don't have to you know pay for the gym at home you can just do it in school and then the pool is free you don't have to go somewhere and pay for the pool like you can come on a friday you can come on a friday with your friends and just go to the pool you know you, you get what i'm trying to say library is there most of the books are in the library are also online actually don't not all the time sometimes it's, it's good to read from a physical book but like you prefer reading from a laptop or your phone or something like that 
you can actually get your course texts online if you feel like if you feel like you're gonna lose your course book you know if you lose your course book you're gonna have to pay you can access your books and like the last kind of last points are just you know out top of my head i just wanted to put out there for anyone who's wondering when it comes to mental health in your sayu it's something that's really encouraged talking about it being open about it usually clubs about it the activities about it not every week but very often so you know like uni uni can be hard it's tough sometimes you're discovering yourself you're doing a lot of things by yourself you're making mistakes you're learning things at some point if you feel like you're meant like not even because of life even because of books and academics and learning and everything like that if you feel like your mental health is a bit you're struggling you see there are counselors that you can go to like clubs that you can join for mental health they usually have really nice activities if you just want to you know like release take some time off go paint a picture socialize talk to people things like that also another thing um, that i came to learn is you're told this but as i said some people don't go for orientation so they never know these things you can actually take a sem break like you can don't just take a sem break don't just disappear there's a way you do it i didn't do it so i can't say like this is how you do it but like if you go to the student center to the offices you're gonna be told you know how to take a sem break if you need like if you that there, there's so many reasons why you can need a sem break you cannot take a sem break for the whole yeah, you without saying that you're not gonna be in school that can be detrimental you know just go to the office and find out how to do it comes to university you're learning and you're getting your um degree and everything but like at the same time such a crucial point of discovering yourself and knowing what you like and finding out things about yourself things about people or what kind of people you like you know things like that don't hold yourself back when you're in freshman year when you're a first year student just feel so scared about everything i think like your side usually gives you it's a really open environment so don't hold yourself back if you want to join a club if you want to join basketball if you want to join dance club if you want to go to the gym and you don't know anyone at the gym like the more often you go to the gym the more you're gonna know people and then the more you're gonna have friends at the gym so it's gonna be easier to go to the gym don't be scared to make mistakes that's how you're gonna know what to do or what you like how to handle situations allow yourself to find yourself in uni and enjoy the process Ever I'm someplace, I would need a book, can you bring me something Babe, so expensive. if you have a question ask me down below and i'll see you guys in the next stuff